Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. I recently was on a trip to Dallas. I went to a men's conference there and I had my eye on this place called Omaha's Army Navy Surplus. Looks like the real deal on the website and looked really cool. So I was really impressed by it and I was going to share it with everybody on my YouTube channel. If you live near there or if you ever happen to go through Dallas Fort Worth, let's check out Omaha's Army Navy Surplus store. start this video and say simply I have absolutely no connection to this store um, I went in there not knowing exactly what to expect but the assortment the quality the uh, help uh, the knowledgeable uh, staff there really blew me away and I took a little bit of video which I'll insert here in a little bit showing you guys the different areas of the store itself this is a true Army Navy surplus store apparently it was founded in uh, 1963 uh, the family had been in, in the surplus business uh, since 1945 but apparently it was um, converted over to more of a true army navy surplus in 63 they've gone through many um, different things through the years i think sometime in the mid 2005 to 2010 range they opened up an online store so it's omahas.com you can go in there and check it out they have an amazing assortment i'm going to show you guys what i picked up there but first let me give you a little tour around here So as you can see, a pretty amazing assortment of stuff. Um, I was in there about an hour and I probably could have spent four or five hours and I could have spent a lot more money, but I was just trying to pick up some things that I really have been looking for and I'll show y'all what I got. First, I got a Swiss Army uh, poncho. I've read a lot about these, that they're very good ponchos. This was $13.95. Uh, it's a very large poncho. I might, you know, if it works really well, I'm gonna show you guys that in a separate video, but a really cool and a good assortment of different ponchos, but this one seemed to be kind of the nicest one to me and the price was pretty reasonable. They had tons of these Esbit stoves. You guys have seen these Esbit um, emergency stoves, $3. I figured I'd pick one up because I have two, but they're both in emergency um, kits for our car. So I figured I'd have one for my shop that I could use uh, if I wanted to. I wanted to pick up a couple pairs of, of, of gloves. We don't have a lot, a lot of cold weather here in Louisiana. Um, and so I don't tend to have a lot of gloves, but I wanted some just light gloves that I could use. So I picked up two pairs. These are a wool polyester type blend, really simple. They were $3 each pair. I got a black pair and I got some um, green ones. Uh, again, $3 each. I also picked up, it says here, genuine 100% wool watch cap from the Department of Defense, uh, just a basic black wool cap, um, $5.99, I wanna say. Pretty good deal, I thought. I got this, which is made by Condor. They have tons and tons of uh, pouches, uh, whether it be actual military um, issued, used pouches, canteen pouches, all the way up to uh, more modern day uh, new stuff. Like this is a Condor pouch. Um, you guys can see it's got, um, you know, kind of like a big wallet. I mean, I guess you could say, I have one of these already that I have a first aid kit with, and I really wanted to get one that I could take with me to the outdoors, carry some pens, uh, some information, some money, and just kind of keep my personal information and stuff for the trail in one of these. I paid $8.95, I want to say for this. Uh, and it even came with this, um, American flag patch you can see on the front sometimes that itself will cost you four bucks so um, pretty cool and lastly I really have been wanting to do a little more uh, bushcraft outdoor like overnights and using wool blankets and the such 
I have one really nice 100% wool blanket that I can use for the top and I wanted one that was a little bit less expensive for underneath and I found this. It is a um, imitation or reproduction of a Swiss Army wool blanket. You can see the Swiss cross right here. Um, it's you know, heavy duty, uh, does not say exactly, I want to say, I've seen this on other sites, it's about 70% wool, um, it's not exceedingly heavy, and that's why I liked it, because it's not as heavy, it's, it's a thinner type of wool blanket compared to my other one, and I'll use this to actually sleep on, put down as a mat, and I'm trying to remember what I paid, um, it was $29.99, I'm pretty sure I paid $29.99 for that uh, wool blanket, 70% wool blanket. I thought it was pretty reasonable. And this is a hometown company for Fort Worth. It's uh, family run, American run, obviously. So I figured I'd support them. I will be going back. Uh, this men's conference I went to, I'll probably be going to yearly. And afterwards, I will definitely be hitting up Omaha's surplus store. I just, you know, sometimes guys, you find these stores and you just want to share with people how cool it is. You could see how cool it was. You can buy anything from these simple things to propellers off of old aircraft. You can buy uh, water bladders. You can buy huge waterproof cases that will fit uh, three people inside of it. I mean, you know, real military stuff. It's really cool. Gas masks, um, all kinds of rations, um, lots of cookware, all that stuff. Really, really neat stuff. If you're interested in outdoors, if you're interested and intrigued by Army Surplus, if you're ever near Fort Worth, go to omahas.com, check it out. Again, I'm not at all associated with them, but I just thought it was a really cool store and I wanted to share it with you guys, plus a little bit of stuff that I got there. So as always, guys, I appreciate you watching Paleo Hiker MD. I uh, look forward to new uh, videos here soon. You can see we're still pretty flooded, although the water's gone down about two inches overnight, which is kind of exciting. Um, turned on my shop again. I had turned off the electricity to my shop just because the water was getting close, but turned it back on today. Um, went out there and put some stuff in there and excited to get back in there, make more videos for you guys. So thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.